MMA Journal Canada is partnered with Unity Underwear, King's Fightwear, and MK1 Boxing Equipment. Use code DREAMER to save 20% off your total purchase on all Unity apparel and head down to the MK1 shop to save 10% off their world-class equipment with code MMAJOURNALCA. I, I built this gym for a reason. And my trainer, Eddie Fudge, told me, don't, don't do that. He says, it's a lot of work, it's a pain in the ass. I said, yeah, but you never know when the next Muhammad Ali is going to walk through your door. Hello, sir. Hi, buddy. How are you? Lovely, how are you, man? Good, thank you. Thanks for taking the time to do this. I appreciate that. I know it's war mode right now. No problem, brother. How was training today? Hard. <laughs> yeah. It ain't easy, as they say, hey? No, bro. I go down my weight now very hard. I'm tired, like, literally. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's the way it has to be if you want to be on Kato's Boulevard, uh, the pictures. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, it's it's exciting, man. You're A lot of people like to say they're, um, you know, very a pressure fighter, and, and they'll go at, at all times, but... But you you don't even need to say it. You just you just show it with your with your boxing. My style, uh, I don't like it. Like every time go forward, I mm -hmm. like like medium distance and technique boxing, mm -hmm. and but but for me no problem. Uh, I go forward, I go back. For me no problem. Uh, I see my opponent, uh, uh, what the style, and after this I think about this. You know. Mm -hmm. For um, Montez, he weighed in 164 pounds. It was pretty heavy. Uh, one of your last opponents, uh, Mahanri Montez, for the Ring City USA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He came in. He came in pretty heavy, but you worked him, outworked him, and that was that was a nice fight, man. Yeah, he he's a good he's a good boxer. He's a good experience, but he Mexican style. His boxing like Mexican style is keep the push like every time. Mm -hmm. But I fight with him like uh, number two, and uh, I show him like boxing classes. Yeah, you're you're sur you're very surgical, very precise, very precision. Um, you have the twelve rounds boxing gym um back home, correct? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so how was operating that during COVID? Running that during COVID? Did you have that open during that that time? Was it running okay, or was it uh, very problem? Uh, this this big problem all back for all boxers like mm. uh, me and my friend live in uh, uh, USA now this time and after COVID we go back my fight is cancelled and we are go back home but uh, but uh, here all gyms closed you know and maybe think about like open new gym for my gym and me and my friend opened 12 rounds gym and start training here. And after one year, like more people come in here for training, like uh, now this gym uh, working like a business, you know, and mm -hmm. Armenian boxers, Armenian kids, like go in the gym and training and go tournaments like Armenian championships. That's good. And like Freddie Roach, um... He said this years ago before Manny Pacquiao walked in. He said, you, you never know who will walk in. You never know who will walk in, right? You could have yeah. the next champion coming into your gym too. So that's that's exciting, especially with you training under Freddie Roach. Uh, you know, it's been your last fight. It was this, this next one will be your fifth number five with Freddie. Is that correct? Uh, I think yes. Nice. Yeah. And yeah, like... It must be, you know, obviously it's it's um, humbling to and and special to be with with Freddie as well, one of the you know world's most renowned um, coaches at Wildcard Gym there. Um, of course. And but again, you you put in the work to get there, right? It, not anyone is allowed to work under him. That that had to come from your work. Yeah, I, I train only with Freddie, and Freddie like Hall of Fame coach, you know, and he's a, like have a 40, 19, 40, four champions. And uh, you know, Lara Styles, Lara Boxers. I, I think Freddie like number one for me and uh, for me, very good training with, with him. And every day I learning more, more, more. I think 
uh, after after one year, two years, you're gonna be like championship fights. Oh, especially okay. especially with your work ethic and the, his knowledge with your training. That's that's the uh, the math equation for a champion. There's no other. There's no other equation. Yeah. So your your debut is it, is that in uh, Solnechny? Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, that's um, and now you're fourteen and zero. Yeah, <laughs> after five six years. That's a lot. That's a long way. That's a that's a fast and long but hard hard route, man. Very, it's it's very exciting for someone for everyone that loves boxing, real boxing too, with um with with good opponents. You know, you've been on on Shamo, um, and a top rank, and you've always had good opponents. Three sixty yeah. promotions uh, always provides a good opponent too. Opponent. now, my opponent uh, from Argentina, uh, his record. I I remember like 28 14. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, it's like so, good yeah. experience for Yeah, boxing. well seasoned. Well, that'll be good for 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 you and and I'm sure exciting for Freddy is, you know, just just in the sense of you have to adapt. That's another challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Being ready as well. That's that's um that's very good, man. Um, yeah, we are ready. We are ready 100%. Nice. So is you, do you have a, a brother back home um, that does some, uh, I think I saw something, hashtag Armin's home. He's posting some beautiful food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's a designer. He's a great man. He seems awesome. I love uh, at the art, uh, art Kav, Kavartal Yerevan, um, the contemporary art. Yeah. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful there. Look like you guys had a <laughs> Very nice. Um, yeah, no, and it's, you know, I th the first picture on your Instagram, you're in a you're in a Mercedes Benz doing a drive by with a water gun. You're shooting. A, you're shooting a water gun. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The Jurassic Park monster, but Jurassic Park Jurassic Park. No, no, no. Jurassic uh, Park. Armenian traditional, like uh, uh, Armenia says, "Var tabar." This this day, all people like German Germans can. And through water, to each other. Uh, and through water, to each other. To each other, you know. Oh and yeah. Th yeah. These days, me and my friends go like center and. <laughs> do, you, do you still everybody. do it today? Do you? Do you yeah. Are, yeah. You still go back home for that day? Yeah. No. Uh, this time I live in Armenia. Um. Well, like, did you did you get to go to the this past one? I'm so freaking nice. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The last one I, uh, I, uh, this time I live in Armenia. Yeah, so I, I don't, I, I don't come here like two, one and a half years. Okay, okay. I'll have to bring some friends one time and go to that. That looks like a, a fun time, man. <laughs> that's that very like, cool. That's beautiful. Um, so yeah, like very, very experienced. Um. You know, Freddie loves the work ethic. Even the announcers were saying, like, just how how dedicated you are. Uh, you know, tenacity as well. And and like when you were fighting, I believe, um, I think it was Koba Koba Car Koba. Sorry, pardon me for the last name here. Koba Kardaz Kobarza days. I'm horrible with it. Ah, uh, this, this Georgian guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and he. He bent the knee at the fourth round. He couldn't do it anymore. Uh, yeah. His movement. I time in Europe, Spain. Oh, okay. His movement was so, so, um, ev like he would go everywhere so wide. He would put himself into the corner. You, you control the distance you control. And again, your medium distance. And what I, what I really liked about that fight too is, um, Whenever you would put your hands down, you only put them down slightly to bring them in very, very close to give them a little bit of hope. And you took that hope away like every time. It was beautiful. It was very beautiful. Um, a lot of people, they'll, they'll keep the hands down, but they won't time it right. They'll just keep the hands down kind of ego. And you, you keep the hands down at the right time to draw in, create that hope and, and snatch it away. The left hand going through, um, I think it was Soki. Yeah, hook. That left hook just going through the guard. You know, when when you can break the guard like that, it, it just seems like every fight you do, it doesn't matter if they're they have a closed guard, 
uh, you're just breaking it each time. Even it's the combination too, the heavy pressure, heavy combination with the right timing. That's the thing. It's beautiful. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Of course, I'll I'll be there in in uh, on on the seventh. I'll be flying down there, and um, I'll be filming and I'll I'll bring my uh, microphone and I'll be interviewing too. So I'll be covering the the event. I'll be staying at the commerce. Oh, nice. So we'll have yeah, to meet in person. I'll we'll have to meet, grab a coffee or something after the fight is is done and <laughs> do a post fight interview. That would be good. Yeah. Uh, maybe after fight another interview oh 100 percent. that would be great um, yeah, um especially no for for all of us up here there's not too many people uh like canada did really good for the last event so just trying to bring more eyes more eyes to you guys because you guys put on really really like i i've i've said this when i spoke with tom that it's the the great american return of boxing like the great return of boxing because this these fights are so fun they're so fair there's no bullshit. They're just they're it's very tough fight each time for everyone. And yes, bro, I know. the people that come on, Gloria Munguia, uh, Khalil Silva, um, you know, even Callum Walsh's opponent, Carson Jones, everyone is is well versed. And it's it's just yeah. a great time. And and uh again, like Tom always says too, easy to watch on UFC fight pass from around the world. So it's um you know I wouldn't have been able to even know about this uh this show and this event without it so it's it's really cool. Yes, bro. And uh, you you live in Canada? Yes, sir, in Vancouver. You, you know Armenian boxer Eric Bazinian. Hey, that sounds very familiar. I'll have to do a little bit more research though. I don't want to speak out of term. He's he's uh, winning his fight like yesterday. Oh no way! Yeah. Yeah, I'm writing it down. I'll, I'll contact now. him. Yeah. What? I'll I wrote it down. I'll I'll message him yeah, just to, he's just a, to he's congratulate. A boxer. He's a 30 you know. Ooh. Beautiful. So the uh the Alexei took a took fight, you walked out to the Act of Fool by Lil John, and it was the yeah, Need for I Speed video one. game yeah. remix. That's what it was. Drip too hard, you know? Yeah, yeah. That one too yeah. as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you got to set the right mindset and get the crowd, everyone hyped up too, man. It's good. It's a hundred percent. So yeah, for, for wild card, the gym too, you know, like even I think Freddie said, uh, I think about 15 years ago, Muhammad Ali came through and he was in there for four hours. And um, Freddie was talking about that being one of the greatest days um, having Muhammad just walk in and, and uh, just hang out. And he was going to call the, the press and call people, say, come, come, Muhammad Ali is here. But he, I don't think he did. I, I, he said that whoever just happens to show up just got to experience that time with Muhammad. Um, mm -hmm. and I, I really like how pure that is for wildcard. I think that stands on just if you're willing to do the work, you're going to have those moments, whether it be meeting Muhammad whether it be training with him, whether it be um, getting to fight on this grand stage too, you know, again, it took it took you having to go into wild card to get this. So, again, honestly, like, thank you, honestly, just as a fight fan, because you putting in that work, so many people don't don't see how many hours you train. It's unseen how many hours you train, right? Sir, yeah. there's maybe a video on Instagram here and there, but it's two twice a day uh for day twice but now like last 15 days like one time 10 15 days you, yeah you gotta tone it down to stay uh stay loose you uh, get, yeah no yeah. Well, that's good man that's smart um it was very exciting to watch gabriel gabriel silva his last fight too uh have anderson come through yeah. as well and uh yeah just just a lot of a lot of the right fight fans watching this show because what I find with a lot of other, other uh, promotions, the base level fan, they don't know too much, right? It's, it's really just the big names. Um, and really that's kind of all they follow, but whoever's watching 360 promotions, Hollywood fight nights, they kind of know they, that's why they're watching that show. Cause they know that there's good boxers on the show. 
Yeah, only good boxers. <laughs> you have to be. You have to be, Tom. Like everyone, they wouldn't mess around with anyone that isn't going to put in that work. Um, yeah, Tom. Tom is a like good man, good person. Like, uh, yeah, he have like good boxers, like Gennady Golovkin, Klitschko's brothers. You know, he's a uh, yeah, he's have a like great boxers, and he's not this business, you know. And I trust him, but uh, after fight, I think I signed with him like long time contract. That's that's also good for all the boxing fans as well to see you, <laughs> yeah. see you go through. You know, I think the next card will be Madison Square Garden. <laughs> see how see how you feel, right? So yeah, yeah, well, maybe I I think maybe this this fight I go like uh, clean, and I think my next fight in last August. Maybe I don't know. Very nice, man. Oh yeah, that's even that would even be before because I think they were they wanted uh, November for Madison. But if there's a, more cards before, yeah, that, and for second uh, August and last one like November last in uh, New York. That's exciting, man. I think I'm gonna have to come down to those two because it's <laughs> there's no way I can't miss it. There's no way. I do a lot of uh, Muay Thai coverage as well. Do a lot of Thai boxing. Um, <laughs> All the athletes as well, very exciting, and um, again, I just, I just find in in the Thai boxing and bare knuckle in the three hundred and sixty promotions, what everything meant together is just the excitement, the fireworks, the fighting. There's no time wasting. There's no big. You know how old wrestling WWF. Yeah. The drum. How Khabib says big drama show. Yeah, but I don't like it. No, so this <laughs> these ones Muay Thai, like Thai boxing, bare knuckle, like three hundred and sixty promotions boxing. There's no drama show. It's just here's the fight. Yeah. Here you go, enjoy, and see you later. <laughs> um, well, I don't want to take too much more of your time, brother. And I will be there in a few days. Um, so I'll be there at the weigh-ins on the eighth at nine a.m. Yeah. So I'll uh, I'll catch up with you guys and the team there. But um, I, I really appreciate I really appreciate you guys taking the time. Okay, thank you, my brother. Thank you for everything, and hopefully, I win this fight. And after this, we are talking about this. Okay. Hundred percent. No, hundred percent. Well, oh, I wanted to ask you how Paul coffee tastes in Armenia. That looks like it's really good coffee. No problem, brother. <laughs> but, but after after fight. <laughs> absolutely. After absolutely, man. No, I, I really appreciate you guys. And I, I'll stop by Wildcard, too, if that's okay. And um, okay. just come watch the work. And maybe uh, maybe I'll throw on the gloves, too. We'll see. Okay, brother. Thank you for your time, man. Honestly, thank you. Have it a means good the day. world. Have a good weekend, brother. You, too, bro. Yeah. You, too. I'll see All you right. in a couple days. Okay, bye-bye. All right. For the win, bro. Thank you. MMA Journal Canada is partnered with Unity Underwear, King's Fightwear, and MK1 Boxing Equipment. Use code DREAMER to save 20% off your total purchase on all Unity apparel and head down to the MK1 shop to save 10% off their world-class equipment with code MMAJournalCA.